hello everyone in this class we will see some more examples on lagrange's formula in the last class i have solved two example let us go for the third one applying lagrange's formula inversely find x when y is equal to 6 given the data x values are 20 30 40 and y values are 2 4 04 and 7 09 sorry 4.4 and 7.9 these are the values of x and y see here they are given applying lagrange's formula inversely means we have to use the lagrange's inverse interpolation formula here let x not is equal to 20 y1 x1 is equal to 30 x2 is equal to 40 and y not is 2 y1 is 4.4 and y2 is 7.9 and we have to find inversely means what here we have to find the value of x for given value of y here the value of y is given that is 6 we have to find the value of x at y is equal to 6 we have lagrange's inverse interpolation formula that is x is equal to and see here we have the terms of 2x to y2 so that we have to write the formula containing the terms of 2 y2 and x2 only y minus y1 y minus y2 into x not divided by y not minus y1 y not minus y2 plus y minus y not into y minus y not sorry y minus this is for y minus y2 into x1 divided by y1 minus y0 y1 minus y2 plus y minus y0 y minus y1 into x2 divided by y2 minus y0 y2 minus y1 and substitute all the values uh, values of y1 y2 y3 sorry y0 y1 y2 and the value of x0 x1 and x2 and the value of y is here 6 after that calculate you will get y at y is x at y is equal to 6 is 35.2462 here i directly have written the answer here the terms are very simple just substitute the values and calculate you will get y of 6 is 35.2462 thus the value of x when y is x when y is equal to 6 is 35.2462 next example the observed values of a function are respectively 168 120 72 and 63 at four positions 3 4 sorry 3 7 9 10 of the independent variable what is the best estimate you can give for the value of the function at the position 6 for the independent variable see the question is question given in a different form but if you identify what are the values of x what are the values of y you will get answer very easily to find the value of x and value of y you must know what will be the independent variable and what will be the dependent variable for the function y is equal to f of x see read the question carefully they are given the observed value of a function of respect to the functional functions value are values are what here 168 140 120 72 and 63 function values means what this these are the values of f of x we know that f of x is equal to y that means these are the values of y and for the position they are given these are the values of x and they are asked to find estimate you can give for the value of the function at a position 6 these are what these are the positions here they are given the value for position that is 6 means the x value is given of the independent variable you have to find the value of y at x is equal to 6 this is the meaning of this given question solution for the function y is equal to f of x x is the independent variable we know that for the function y is equal to f of x if x is what the independent variable and y is our dependent variable means what here we have to find 
the value of independent variable at a given independent variable that is 6 here x0 is 3 x17 x29 x310 and the functional value so R, Y0, 180, 168, Y1, 120, Y3, 72 and Y3 here this is Y2, 72, Y3, 70, sorry, 63 and we have to find the value of Y at X is equal to 6. We have Lagrange's interpolation formula here where Y is equal to F of X is equal to X here the values are given up to x3 and y3 so that we have to write our Lagrange's formula having terms up to x3 and y3 only according to that our formula is what y is equal to f of x is equal to x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 into y0 all divided by x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 x0 minus x3 plus x minus x0, x minus x2, x minus x3 into y1 whole divided by x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3 plus x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x3 into y2 whole divided by y2 minus x0, y2 minus x1, y, x, y, sorry not y2 x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1, x2 minus x3 plus x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x2 into y3 whole divided by x3 minus x0, x3 minus x1, x3 minus x2. This is our formula and we all know the values of x, x0, x1, x2, x3 and also y0, y1, y2, y3. Just substitute all those values in this formula. What we will get is. Now I am going to substitute the values. x value is 6. x minus 7. x minus 9. You see x is 6, 6 minus x3 is 10 into y0 is 168 divided by here x0 value is 3, 3 minus 7, 3 minus 9, 3 minus 10 plus next is 6 minus 3. 6 minus 9, 6 minus 10 into y1 is 120. Next, x1 is 7, 7 minus 3, 7 minus 9, 7 minus 10 plus the next is 6 minus 3, 6 minus 7. Here x3, 6 minus 10 into y2, y2 is 72. Divided by here x2 value is 9 minus 3, 9 minus 7, 9 minus 10. Plus last value 6 minus 3. 6 minus 7, 6 minus 9 into y3 is 63. Now 10 minus 3, 10 minus 7, 10 minus the last term is 10 minus 9. On calculation we get minus 1 into minus 3 into minus 4 into 168 all divided by minus 4 into minus 6 into minus 7 plus 3 into minus 3 minus 4 into 120 divided by 4 into minus 2 
minus 3 plus I will write next term below this is plus 3 into minus 1 into minus 4 into 72 whole divided by 6 into 2 into minus 1 plus 3 into minus 1 minus 3 minus 3 and 63 whole divided by 7 into 3 into 1 which is equal to 12 plus 180 minus 72 plus 27 from this we get 12 from this it, it will be 180 from this it is minus 72 and the value of this is plus 27 the total is 147 f of 6 is equal to 147 thus conclusion thus the estimate estimate at position 6 at position 6 of the independent variable I have written the in short independent variable is 147 ok next example applying Lagrange's formula inversely to find a root of the equation f of x is equal to 0 given that f of 3 is equal to minus 30 f of 34 is equal to minus 13 f of 38 is equal to 3 and f of 42 is equal to 18 see here you have to apply the Lagrange's Lagrange's inverse interpolation formula here they are given f of x is equal to 0 means here the value of y is given that is 0 you have to find the value of x at y is equal to 0 this is the meaning solution we have to find x such that f of x is equal to y is equal to 0 that is at y is equal to 0 x is equal to what let x0 is equal to 30, x1 is equal to 34, x2 is equal to 38, x3 is equal to 42 and y0 is equal to minus 30, y1 is equal to minus 31, y2 is equal to 13, y3 is equal to 18 and y is equal to 0. We have to find the value of x. We have the Lagrange's inverse interpolation formula that is x is equal to here we have the terms up to x3 and y3 so that we have to write the formula up to the terms up to having having terms up to x3 and y3 since this is an inverse interpolation formula it will be x is equal to y minus y1 y minus y2 y minus y3 into x0 whole divided by y0 minus y1 y0 minus y2 y0 minus y3 plus x minus x sorry y minus y0 y minus y2 y minus y3 into x1 whole divided by y1 minus y0 y1 minus y2 y1 minus y3 plus y minus y0 y minus y1 y minus y3 into x2 whole divided by x2 minus y0 y2 minus y0 y2 minus y1 y2 minus y3 plus y minus y0 y minus y1 y minus y2 into x3 all divided by x3 y3 minus x0 y0 y3 minus y1 y3 minus y2 on substitution what we will get is on substitution and calculation we get x is equal to I will write the direct terms what is the value of y minus y1 and y minus y2 y minus y3 and x0 it will be 13 minus 3 minus 18 
into thirty divided by minus seventeen minus thirty three minus forty eight plus thirty into minus three into minus eighteen into thirty four whole divided by seventeen into minus sixteen into minus thirty one plus next term I will write here thirty into thirteen into minus eighteen into thirty eight whole divided by thirty three sixteen minus fifteen plus thirty into thirteen into minus three into forty two whole divided by forty eight into thirty one into fifteen which will equal to from the next first term we get minus zero point seven eight two one plus six point five three two two plus thirty three point six eight one eight minus two point two zero one six therefore this is what x of zero this is x this is x y x at y is equal to zero x of zero zero is equal to thirty seven point two three zero three conclusion thus an appropriate or approximate the approximate root of f of x is equal to 0 is 37.2303 next example use lagrange's formula find the interpolating polynomial that approximates to the function described by the following table x values are 0 1 2 5 and functional values or y values are 2 3 12 and 1 47 solution let x not is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2 x3 is equal to 5 y not is equal to 2 y1 is equal to 3 y2 is equal to 12 and y3 is 147 here we have to find the interpolating polynomial that is y is equal to f of x is equal to what we have lagrange's interpolation formula here we have the terms up to x3 yt y3 write terms write the formula which are having terms up to x3 and y3 only y is equal to f of x is equal to x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 into y not whole divided by x not minus x1 x not minus x2 x not minus x3 plus x minus x not x minus x2 x minus x3 into y1 whole divided by y1 minus x sorry y x1 minus x not x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 Plus x minus x not x minus x one x minus x three into y two whole divided by x two minus x not x two minus x one x two minus x three plus x minus x not x minus x one x minus x two into y three whole divided by x three minus x not x three minus x one x three minus x two on substitution. Here we have to go for step by step because here we have to find interpolation formula. Don't try to calculate directly here. Y is equal to 
f of x is equal to x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 5 into 2 then here x naught value is 0, 0 minus 1, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 5 plus x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 5 into y1 is 3 divided by x1 is 1, 1 minus 0, 1 minus 2, 1 minus 5 plus x minus 0, x minus 1, x minus 5 into y2 is 12 divided by x2 is 2, 2 minus 0, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 5 plus x minus 0, x minus 1, x minus 2 into 147, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 0, 5 minus 1, 5 minus we have 1 into 2 minus into minus plus 1 into 2 is 2 2 into 5 is 10 10 here we have 2 okay otherwise i will write 2 by 10 minus 10 it is 2 by minus 10 into x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x5 plus here we get 1 here minus 1 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 4 it will be 4 3 by 4 x into x minus 2 x minus 5 plus x into Here we have 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into minus 3 is minus 6, minus 12, here we have 12, minus 12 divided by 6, the remaining is x into x minus 1, x minus 5 plus 147 divided by here we have negative sign 147 here 5 into 4 is 20 20 into 3 is 60 140 divided by 60 see here we have 5 5 4 minus 1 is 5 minus 1 is 4 5 4 is 20 and 23 is a 60 remaining is x into x minus 1 x minus 2 which is equal to here we have 5 1s are 5 it will be minus 1 by 5 x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 5 plus 3 by 4 x into x minus 2 x minus 5 plus 1 za 2 za minus 2 into x into x minus 1 x minus 5 plus here divide this by 2 you get 49 divided by so I will divide this by uh, 3 you will get 49 divided by 
ट्वेंटी इंटू एक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस वन एक्स माइनस टू विच इज इक्वल टू सी आई हैव टू टेक द एल सी एम हियर आई विल टेक वन बाय ट्वेंटी एज अ एल सी एम ओके वॉट वी विल गेट वन बाय ट्वेंटी इन टू अदरवाइज ओके इट्स ओके वन बाय ट्वेंटी हियर वी गेट हियर आई एम टेकिंग वन बाय ट्वेंटी कॉमन मीन्स फाइव फोर जो ट्वेंटी इट विल बी माइनस फोर इन टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वन वी गेट एक्स क्यूब माइनस एट एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस सेवेंटीन एक्स माइनस टेन प्लस हियर वी गेट फोर फाइव जो ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू थ्री इज फिफ्टीन एक्स क्यूब माइनस सेवन एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस टेन एक्स नेक्स्ट माइनस हियर आई हैव ट्वेंटी वी गेट हियर टेन टेन इंटू टू इज ट्वेंटी टेन इंटू सॉरी हियर वी डो वी डोंट हैव एनी टर्म इन डिनोमिनेटर सो इट विल बी इंटू ट्वेंटी दिस इज फोर्टी एक्स क्यूब माइनस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस फोर्टी नाइन इंटू एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस टू एक्स ओके नाउ simplify all these terms you will get the polynomial is x cube plus x square minus x plus 2 this is our required polynomial required polynomial Okay. See, we have minus four x cube minus eight x square plus seventeen x minus ten. Okay, next to fifteen x cube minus seven x square plus ten x. Here we have minus forty x cube minus six x square plus five x plus forty nine x cube minus three x square plus two x. This is how you have to. Calculate the. You have to find the interpolating polynomial. Here, we have some four homework examples. First one: Use Lagrange's interpolation formula to find y at x is equal to ten. The table is given. X values are given. Y values are given. Find y at x is equal to zero. Find y means you have to use the Lagrange's formula. Next, the following table gives the normal weight of babies during first 8 months of life age in months 0 to 5 8 weight uh, in pounds 6 10 12 16 these are the values of x and these are the values of y okay you have to find the value of f of sorry here question is continued estimate the weight of weight of the baby at 7 months by using lagrange's interpolation formula means you have to find f of 7 next Given u not is equal to seven not seven, u two is equal to eight nineteen, u three is equal to eight sixty six, u six is equal to eight nine sixty six. Compute u four using Lagrange's interpolation formula. Lagrange's interpolation formula you have to find means you have you have to use Lagrange's interpolation formula. What it means here the value of x is given. You have to find the value of y. These are the values of Y and these are the zero, two, three, six are the values of 
x0 x1 x2 x3 and these are the values of y0 y1 y2 y3 and for x is equal to 0 sorry for x is equal to 4 you have to find the value of y next last one using lagrange's interpolation method find the value of f of x at x is equal to 5 given the values given the values x values are 1 3 4 6 f of x are 3 9 30 132 you have to find the value of y at x is equal to 5 calculate these examples we will discuss the solution of these examples in the live class and all of you must and should solve these examples okay